thinking about keywords is generally a good practice. I was asked one time, this was recent, a company had an article about it coming out. They asked, how should we think about keywords? And so I said, think about terms, search terms that you want to rank on Google for. Put those in the keyword suggestion tools. Moz is a good example of that. Lots of different SEO software has keyword suggestion tools. And see what comes up that is very similar, very relevant, but also has a lot of volume. Think about keywords. So this company that I'm about to share is my friend's company. It doesn't exist anymore. Many years ago, and my friend made a very simple web app. I wouldn't even call it a company. I would call it a web application. It was called focusmusic.fm. I think that was it. Probably look it up on Wayback Machine. And I loved it. It was the simplest interface. It was a play button. And, and then once you click play, it turned into a pause button. That was V1. And it was just a highly catered list of focus music that my friend made. Highly catered list of focus music. So funny. With a very clean and simple, non-distracting interface. Focusmusic.fm. Now, before I explain what happened, if you search focus music on a keyword tool, a keyword analyzation tool, like Moz's Keyword Explorer, you see that this is actually a very difficult keyword to rank for. Its difficulty score is 61 out of 100. That is very high. Its monthly search volume is 6.5 thousand to 9.3 thousand. Realistically, with all the typos and everything else it would rank for, if you're ranking number one for focus music, I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting 50,000 visits a month from search or even 100,000 on the high end with everything else that you would rank for. Typos, related keywords, so many different things. It's a very valuable keyword, focus music. My friend ranked for this by accident, took down the site, I'm guessing because just didn't really know what he was doing with SEO. Now he, he works in crypto. He's a developer for Ethereum. And actually, I haven't even thought about this story that I'm sharing. I haven't thought about it in years. But it came to me just now, and I, I said, oh, I, I really have to share this. This is a good story. So he makes this simple site, and all he does, you know, I talk about launching in all, this, all these different places on, on the show. I say, launch on beta list, launch on product hunt, share on Reddit. You can send to journalists, do a press release, submit to directories, all these different places. But if you have a piece of content or an app or anything that is viral, you know, I had another episode recently about linkable assets. This is a very linkable asset that I'm sharing. If you have, you could probably even copy this. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Oh, I kind of want to do that. Copy this with your own playlist. Put it as a subdomain on your site with your own branding. Oh my gosh. Or something similar. It doesn't even just have to be focus music. Oh, I am getting so inspired. Wow, this is a cool idea. Okay, let me share what happened. My friend launches focusmusic.fm on Product Hunt. New site. I don't even think he did any of the proper SEO things. Didn't submit it to Google Search Console or anything. Before he launched it on Product Hunt, Google didn't know about it. He puts it up on Product Hunt and it does really well on, on Product Hunt. It reaches number one. But then people take it and start sharing it because they love it. And it's being shared in all these publications. All these people are sharing it with each other. It's being shared on social media. And so this is a brand new site that's not even on Google Search Console. And if you Google Focus Music, because this is going viral, this shows up number one. Shows up number one for this very difficult keyword, Focus Music, and lots of other keywords. So my friend worked on this for a few months and then got tired of it and didn't really realize that he could take this and use it for so many other things that he could 301 redirect this and put it on a subdomain and get all this link juice to any site for it. And that it was a super linkable asset, super valuable, and it doesn't even exist anymore. I, I made a different podcast recently about how you should never do this and how people always do this, but how you should never do this. But now I want to talk about just this idea of, so I talk about linkable assets. You make something that lives on your site. It could live as a subdomain, as a subfolder. It could live in whatever way that you want, but it has to be on your root domain. And the goal of this is to make something shareable so people share it and then it gets you backlinks and that boosts your SEO domain authority so you can rank easier for keywords, especially difficult keywords, lucrative keywords, purchase intent keywords, bottom of funnel keywords, high volume keywords, so many different keywords that you want to rank for. And gosh, focus music. There are so many different genres of music and every different genre has its own community. 
and you could copy this simple interface and maybe behind the scenes it's just a spotify playlist or you download all the songs from youtube you could just google save youtube video take that video because you're going to download it as a video click save audio only you could either edit it all together as one track that streams in the background maybe using youtube or something so you don't see the the video or you could just have it playing in the background and you don't you don't see that and it's just a playlist so many different ways to do it very easy very cheap so cheap oh my gosh you just do a simple, clean interface, maybe put in a little bit of your branding. You can share it on Product Hunt. You could share it with niche communities. You could share it on Reddit. I'm sure that every different genre of music has a great subreddit. You could send it to journalists in that field. And you just make it so easy to just click play and you just get a nonstop stream of great music in that genre. That's what focus music was. You just click play and then you just, there was no distractions and it was just, perfect focus music i i used to do seo myself while listening to this oh wait now i'm so inspired i want to go back to wayback machine and try to find it i'm going to do this on the podcast i found it 2016 is when it was launched and so the first appearance of it on wayback machine is september 16th 2016 so i'm clicking on that we're going to see how my memory serves this is what it is this is what it is there's text it just says focusmusic.fm. There's a big play button. There's a previous song and next song button. So that's three buttons. And then underneath that, it says music for work, productivity, and flow. So wild. Focusmusic.fm, domain authority, th 33 out of, out of 100. I'm going to message my friend after this and just ask him if I can have it because I want to do something with this. If you go a few months after September 16th, 2016, you see that the design was improved, but it's just completely simple. My friend made a Twitter for it. That Twitter still exists. It has 326 followers. The last time it posted was October 26, 2016. This is so funny. All right, so look, you could copy this, like I said. And even if you don't copy this, this is just a great example of how powerful going viral is in SEO. Because it doesn't just bring you that immediate traffic if you do it right. It doesn't just bring you the immediate traffic of going viral. That traffic lasts for years, for years and years and years because of search engine optimization. And then you can take that traffic and power other different SEO efforts on your website. So I think this is a cool story. I hope you like it. This is episode 224 of The Edward Show. This is my daily growth hacking and growth marketing podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.